Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as the Knights, the old Knigets. Uh, we started over here on Rodos, which is no longer our capital. Neither is it Malta, which I mean, used to be ours for a brief moment there, and now it's our subjects, uh, because we had to move our capital into the New World, because we're going for Knights of the Caribbean, in which we have to control over the Caribbean, which, you know, working on that. And all of the uh, Mediterranean Islands, which there's still some work to do in the future kind of somewhat unfortunately but maybe this future means problem right uh the aragonese are of course a castilian subject castile is our stalwart ally which um you know does yeah it does pose a little bit of problem and unfortunately this is not i mean it's a junior partnership um it is not just an alliance so it's not like we can draw the castilians into a war and then attack aragon so we're gonna have to find some power somewhere also i mean some of these islands are weird green you know <laughs> they might be tough to acquire as well for now power is on our mind as is grabbing the rest of the caribbean and i'm wondering now this is portugal here uh doing the second attempt at creating a colonial nation over the caribbean after we took the first and i'm wondering if we wait I mean, obviously we're waiting for these to form colonial nation because we can't can attack that without getting the Europeans involved, which is nice. But also, I'm wondering if we're waiting for the Caribbean to be fully colonized, either by us or by the Portuguese, before we touch these folks. Because if we go and declare war on uh, what you can just assume would be a Caribbean again, I don't know. Uh, but I assume it would just be the same colonial nation we already ate once. Um, then the Portuguese would just probably just go and colonize, I don't know, and the Turks or somewhere we on the Les Antilles. And uh, we'd have the whole thing again. And then they might not get five colonies and then we can't attack the colonial nation. So my thinking is we just peacefully coexist for a moment. And we colonize as much as we can of the... Um, of the Caribbean here, while the Portuguese do the same, and then once the whole Car uh, Caribbean is either in Portuguese or no, not in Portuguese, in Caribbean or my hands, then we go and crush them and take it all. Bit like a plan to me. Now we have technically the possibility, technically, to go down here into the <clears throat> Whisker people who have some pretty decent land, honestly, including some gems there with a bunch of development on them. I mean, ooh, hello. I uh, also have our explorer who has had to do manual exploring. Super sad. Super sad. Come on, it's really annoying here. Because as a New World Nation, we're not allowed to um, hunt for the seven cities. Bit daft. If you ask me, but tis what tis. So we have to do all the exploring here manually. Let's go. Oh, we are already spying on the Misco. I look at past me being smart. Uh, wait, do I already have a claim on you? Apparently I do. Where? Why? How did this happen? I mean, I take it. But how on earth do they get a claim on Bogota? Or do you get to keep the claim you have on a migrating nation, maybe? On the capital or something? And they were migrating and then they settled? Can't really see how else I got that claim on there. Huh. I'll take it, though. Maybe just some event. Um, that's going on. We have technology to not take. But we should be taking it because we're losing innovativeness, right? Um, yes, that is. Don't hover there, hover here. And next tech to come up would probably be Aten, but that wouldn't help. And then we have these that require right colonialism. And colonialism, <clears throat> do I remember correctly that we did spawn it in Jamaica? Well, we uh, developed it in Jamaica. We're just not accepting it because we didn't have the money. Right, and we didn't have enough to take any tech. 
Uh, we're getting kind of close to being able to take Militech here, so we should be considering taking it soon. Which will cost us 700 ducats, so that means loans almost certainly. What else? I just have to find my, my bearings here again. Well, our devotion is crud uh, ever since we converted to Protestantism. Uh, our power prediction is not as great as I would like it to be. I don't think we really have many options other than maybe private. Oh, never mind. Hello, Naples. Wait, wasn't Naples like a. It's me. <laughs> wasn't Naples a subject of the Castilians or something? Huh. I feel like they were. All right, you don't have any islands, do you, Naples? No. There's something to be said about trying to take Naples stuff, because they have no folks and no friends. And we could put some of our good American boys here over on some boats, which we don't have tons of. And grab some Naples. Can't make claims myself, and I also can't ask Malta to make any claims. So that's probably not happening. Unless we randomly have them? No, we might have a mission to get them because we have tons of missions for claims if I'm not mistaken here. We have... Aleppo and Palestine is not the directions that would go. Um, Foothold in Greece does not sound like it gives me Naples either. Global dominance is different. Syria, Jerusalem, I mean, that's all nice. I mean, it makes sense that we have our folks down here. But um, it doesn't look like we're going for uh, the Latin Empire, Anatolia and the Balkans. No, that's not it either. Sheet of Christendom does not. No, just just no. I don't think. Okay, what's Ark of the Covenant require? Uh, we need to have Axum oh, down there. Okay. So we get the Ark and then we all burn. <laughs> That's what happens, right? Uh, I get disintegrated. Um, bum, 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 bum. I think this is all kind of fine. The H ending, I think there's no reason to take the, the Golden Arrow right now. Let's not do that. Obviously more colonies would be nice to get the bonus, but we wouldn't finish any more colonies anyway. So that's fine. But uh, having Naples on the whole um, rival list means we can embargo them as well for a tiny bit of extra PP. Uh, next month I should be able to make that claim on the Muska folk, who should no longer be migrating, so I think we're fine in that regard. And then we can tell Naples uh, that their traders can stuff it. And if I can ever find that button, issue embargo, right? Right. There you go. A teensy bit. Now the um, long time rabbits thing is going to pick tick up now. It's actually going to tick up faster than conquering provinces, and we have inside rabbit available again in a moment. So we should be able to go back up over the fifty. Very important fifty point there. Portugal making some claims. I'm not particularly afraid of Portugal attacking me. It would probably ruin me if they did. Because I assume I don't have a navy to send up the Portuguese one. What do we have here? It's just one heavy. We might be able to beat one heavy. Assuming that's actually the Portuguese combat fleet. Portugal. Yeah, they only have the one heavy and two lights. Okay, never mind. I'm not, not afraid. I'm not not afraid. Yes, also that. Uh, <laughs> When does this end next year? Hmm. Don't remember if that refreshes now. I can just install somebody else to refresh it, or if it just does nothing. Hmm. Ah, it's October, let's not risk it here. Church bar is still garbage, because our unity is still garbage, but we're very much working on that. Uh, you. 42%. Of 
Converting is pretty rough when you have the... I don't think I need to take this admin tech here. Um, when you have a decent empire. Sugar and St. Vincent, okay, I mean that makes some sort of geographical sense, one might suppose. It's January, okay, so I should be able to insult somebody. Can we go with a regular... the regular insult here, or do we want to do Scornfall? I can't do Scornfall since I don't have any prestige. So we're gonna just do a regular insult, and why not? Why not talk to the Nepalese, right? Neapolitans, these folks here. Cause I mean, look at them stinking. There you go. They should hold fine over the yearly tick too, because we're getting the extra, extra plus three tick up on um, long term rivals. But then you've, especially if the age ends, we need to find some ways. Just for now, it's fine. Okay, Catholic Zealots are not a big deal. But Aravok Separatists are. The issue with the Catholic Separatists is that um, as long as we keep converting, and we will, and they're gonna keep showing their ugly heads, right? And we won't get to suppress Jamaica really. So even though we have low numbers here, um, the presence in Jamaica makes it so that we keep on having a small chance there to gain unrest and it's not going to drop. Now, why are you here? Well, because that's a colony, okay? You folks are suppressing something relevant? You are. And you might have to go over there soon. Mm, how close are we to force them? I know I need money. But I also kind of really want to get rid of those Catholic folks. Tempted to just buy another few Landsknechts here. Landsknechts? Landsknechte in German. Would be the plural. But, um. This is not German, so <laughs> I don't know what the English plural for a German word is. Yeah. Weird. Weird is what it is. Really got to work on a lot of that stuff. Uh, the Arawak won't like me. Or we can trade ducats for army tradition. I love army tradition. But I don't have any ducats. <laughs> so I don't have any army tradition. Holy fudge. I mean, we had no army for a long time. So, yeah. Might just not be worth it to do this even. It's just making me angry. Um, speaking of the Aravak, how do we... Uh, are you going to be in Essequibo or are you going to be in Sinu or Manguanki? Probably not in this. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I was like... I am not going to be an Esequito, Quivo, that's just five development. But these two are four development each. So the rebels are going to rise over an Esequibo. Which means we're going to need troops there sooner rather than later. Well, sooner or later, not sooner rather than later. Heretics of Vanyi. Protestantism entrenched. Cheaper fish. Um, yeah, let's keep going with these Catholics, they really need gone. We don't even get the bonus against animists, right? No, religious zeal only counts against Catholics, so yeah, we definitely focus on Catholics right now. Uh, for glory and gold, you say? I mean, yes. I mean, I said I had no ducats, and I don't. But I still go for glory and gold. How many loans do I need to take out? Yeah, a few. Do I want one of them to be debased currency? We're currently below one, which I like. And we're still using the corruption reduction, the normal one, so I probably don't want to go and... Oh, the automatic one. Yeah, I don't think I want to, want to go and debase more. 
Then we're just going to take a bunch of loans and embrace the institution and take that admin tech. All right, what did I say? How much money do I need? Seven hundred. This became four. How dare they? Um, I know it, it would it tends to do that, but we're not like ninety nine point seven percent to an institution spread anyway. I doubt it, but uh, let's double check. I mean, seventy nine is not bad, but it's not. 91 in Havana. When are you going to be done? Next year. Ah, it's almost never worth. But maybe, maybe give it a try for once. Is it worth turning on the edict? Well, it's probably not worth having this edict going here, is it? Um, Moron is still Portuguese, but more. Uh, it's still Portuguese, yes. It's also still Catholic. Um, so that doesn't matter. So no, let's swap over to. Do I? How much money does it? Well, you cost me. Oh no, it doesn't. What do you actually cost? I mean, that's a lot of money. Because we're paying triple state maintenance rent. I'm not going to pay it. Um, yeah, it makes it a bit. Take a little bit, a little bit more time um, for the spread to happen in Havana. But it will also make us pay less money for it to be there. Move. Where to Del Moro? What, what what does that require? I don't know you. Um, well, for one, it doesn't do anything. So that's a bit sad. And does it require me to be anything? No, it's just just pay for it. I mean, at least that's nice. Wait, start the relocation of it to Jamaica? Oh, I can steal it. No, but I can't. It's too big to move. Didn't realize that some of them could be stolen. Huh. Uh, let's have another look. Or first look, maybe, at the Great Projects map mode. See if you miss anything else. Well, well, well. It's probably some pirate haven. Tortuga Island. Yep. Priority efficiency, blockade force required. I would be great for the other campaign we ran. Uh, the Rügen campaign. Power rating from insults plus 50%. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, that's not particularly relevant, but it's funky. 100%. Do take that. But it's uh, I was certainly not worth paying any money for. Shame. We might still do it towards the end of the campaign. Oh, you as well, Katahana. What are you? India's fourth system. India? Oh, Katahana the India's. Okay, that makes more sense, I suppose. Ship trade power, maybe. More ship trade power. More ship trade power. Now there's an investment. I also can't steal that. <laughs> what is this, Tropico? They're stealing other people's wonders? Uh, do we have like one on Rodos or... Oh, we do have one on Malta, but that was garbage, right? Yeah, actually, was got cost with other religions might be... I'm not sure if it's worth the money, but it's not nothing. Okay, okay, okay. So we have a rich. We have some some options here. I do like that. Damnation! I was looking to not do the thing yet. Ooh, but I was looking to... Well, didn't say that I was, but I should check the edict map mode. We already see that we have two enforcers going here. With Haiti... Uh, still requiring it, I suppose, unless Yakima and Sui are both ones that have been ev evicted to, which they might be. Uh, yep, they're both on the... yeah, you can't touch this timer. Uh, for how much longer? 1551, yikes. 55. Alright, in Dominica, um, we have Sikuayo and Magua. Uh, out of which you are fine to convert. And you are fine to convert. So here I'm going to keep the edict running, but here we're going to turn it off. Save me that money. Edict. Oh, that was like 0.7 ducats. It's pretty good. These edicts are very expensive. Memmingen. Or Memmingren's former commentators of this game might say. <laughs> Do we have the time? Yeah, sure. 
Uh, you folks, you have a reason to be here, and it's not to just hang out. Your reason is to quintuple your suppression force to get rid of those uh, Catholic separatists once and for all. Well, at least I don't They're not actually that bad. I like the low unrest issues we have here, even though we have um, <clears throat> some problems with our country anyway. Ooh, speaking of our country, let's uh, summon that die. What do the pastors want? The pastors want to give me a theologian, 90 devotion. That's gonna be a lot of work. It'll happen, but it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> Um, the nobles want Taffy Lal to like me. We get a half price improved relations dude. Which is like okay. And you want me to have 15% or more trade power on Mobile Bay? Give me a half price trader for it. Well. I mean, I can probably just click that trade power into Mobile Bay, can't I? Uh, which one is it? Am I mistaken that that's somewhere around here? Where the heck is Mobile Bay? Oh, it is here. Oh, it's... Wait, Mississippi River, Rio Grande, Mexico. I looked at the wrong thing again, didn't I? Um, Mobile Bay is just one of the provinces that needs it in the Mississippi, Mississippi River trade node, yes. So... We already have 6% in the Mississippi River. The total trade power in the Mississippi River is like not a lot. 6%, 23 trade power are 6%. And we have 45 trade power from ships just available here. Now upstream transfer stuff is gonna change things a little bit. But I think I can probably just get that by quickly relocating my fleet. Let's do the, the bourgeoisie one. It seems doable. And then you folks, ooh, also there's an, it's money time. Oh, we need to check on rating times for sure. Let's quickly rate. Oh, we might be able to rate here because the there's new Portuguese places, right? Um, let's have you go protect trade in Mississippi River. Check whether we can rate a bit while we're passing by here. We can, good, good, good. Risk of trade, uh, gain mercantilism for a lot of ducats. Ooh. Oh, I need to click buttons. Uh, let's quickly seize land. And then annoy the burghers. I mean, I wouldn't mind the mercantilism, but I really don't want to spend the money right now. And the burghers will be happy once again, once we get the thing done. Although now we get, no, it's just trade efficiency. That's fine for the mission. Trade efficiency should not hurt us there. Efficiency. Let's see how much trade power we have in the next month. So let's keep this open to see if there's any robbing to do. 20%. Bam. Thank you very much. Uh, you can now come back and protect trade in the Caribbean. I do love that mission when it works like that. Uh, but we should check rating anyway because I don't know what our numbers are. Truce to the Ottomans is over, isn't it? It is. And the Ottoman coasts? 22. So clearly I did some raiding. Maybe somebody else did. The mum looking coasts are ready to raid though. Ready to raid. And um, the Tunisian coasts might be ready to raid. Okay. What about what happened to Jolov? Oh no, this is... <laughs> Jolov would turn into Fulo. Same difference though. Uh, let's raid this place. <laughs> I probably planned to do that earlier, and I just didn't. Um, damnation. Raid. Get up here. Oh, we might even be able to raid Tenerife. Get some revenge. <laughs> Freaking Portuguese scum. Um, there might have been some raiding. Yeah. Actually, I think I got all the Portuguese provinces here. The Arawak are at 50 or 80. The other 50. 
think I'll settle you over to as a Quiver then. Uh, yeah, take the foot route, I suppose. I meant to use the boat, but I can't be butted to do it um, by hand. Uh, yeah, right, itinerary, please. Get in there. St. Martin done. So we should be doing, yeah, Magua and Siguayo. And we're done with all the freaking Catholics we are allowed to raid. Ah, uh, to <clears throat> convert. Did I say raid? Nobody has uh, any plans to raid any Catholics here. Oh. Huh. Wouldn't ever. Well. I should be able to actually raid Naples, shouldn't I? I don't think that gives me power protection because it's not piracy. Would be interesting if it did, but I don't think it does. Uh, let's have a check on... A chick? Sure. Let's have a check on Havana. Yeah, let's see. That is... Whoop, there it is. And probably the price has gone up by now. No, that's actually gone down by quite a bit. Thanks to the acquisition of Havana. What about Sui then? Is it worth waiting for Sui as well? With 13 development. If Havana was worth that much, Sui might be worth it as well at similar speed. Yeah, fine. It's not like we're overflowing on... If we were overflowing on my points, or... Well, we don't have tech we need to necessarily take, but we do keep losing innovativeness. Yeah, no, we should not wait here. Let's go. Um, grab some loans and take the thing. Loan, how's our... Uh, I still have a lot of corruption, so... Let's just do triple loan. Uh, I should have looked into burger loans. Because they have 1%... Um, what am I looking for? They have 1% cost. Wait, we can't? Oh no, we still don't quite have the money. Okay. Um, do we have four things on the burgers? We do. Okay, so we would have had to go to... Blah, 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 words. We need it to get rid of one of these anyway, if we were to take burger loans, and we can't do that right now, so this is fine. And no mistakes were made. I mean, mistakes were made, but no mistakes were made, if you catch my drift. All right, embrace you. Colonialism, get that provincial trade power, and also be able to grab admin tech for some production efficiency, mill tech for some ahead of time, so we stop losing innovativeness, and then soonish, Dip tech for that global settler increase, which I really want. I really, really want. Do I want to upgrade my? Yeah, sure. I have no calves, so we can make them Schwarze Reiter immediately. Never have shock on cannons, so Pedrero, there you go. Oh, we might have been a bit slow here. I mean, we just became a great power, which is great, but I'm seeing these 100% Aravok separatists, and I don't think my army is quite there yet in Essequibo, so we probably get that separatism there. My mistake. Should have taken the boat. Oh well. Uh, we have great power. Portugal is no longer a valid rival. Tuna is no longer. Oh wow. Um, so that's good and bad. We get plus 30 from eclipsing, which is nice, but we have no more valid rivals. <laughs> there are those Arabic keys. Oh, we have to go and uh, tell all these folks that they're no longer embargoed and they're all going to be a long way to go. Oof. Let's start with the Portuguese. I think I'm gonna bring home my Castilian boy for a moment. So we can stop those embargoes a bit earlier. This is all fine. Are we losing so much money again? What are we wasting so much money on? They go like ham on advisors? I mean, I'm paying a lot for advisors. Obviously, a decent chunk for colonial maintenance. I didn't. Maybe you're the problem. Because we're running a full price level 2 guy for the missionary strength. Yeah. Gotta think of a way to make that money back. Also, I think we're paying for a fort here, which really nobody should ever be doing. Well, not never. Oh, speak of money. Uh, that's why you're here, right? Uh, speak of money. Grab. 
Oh, more corruption reduction. If I hadn't known that, I might have considered grabbing the other corruption option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arab acceptors are being annoying. This is still 22, so it's really all about the Tunisians then, uh, the Mamluks, the other Tunisians. Grab. Yeah, get control of that back. Always a bit annoying when you have an empire that's spanning the globe. Not that we have a huge empire yet, we're not even an empire yet. But our country still is in quite different parts of the globe, which makes keeping an eye on everything somewhat difficult. Uh, Caribbean and Trinidad. And Tlemkeni and Arguin. Tlemkeni? So why would Arguin be paved? What did we ever do to you, Arguin? Is it just religious unity? <clears throat> and intolerance and non accepted Oh, you're Catholic. Huh. Also, they fear the crypto-Catholics. <laughs> and who doesn't? I mean, come on, would you fear a crypto-Catholic? Uh, it's just... Uh, wow. Crypto-Catholics. It's like cryptocurrencies, but worse. It's like there was very little money in Alexandria here. But we did raid him. Hmm. Oh well. And grab. Now you guys are in 20, right? 22. Yeah. Let's sit in roads for a moment until it's time to get money again. Ooh, another agenda, eh? Develop Havana, I don't want to do that. Build a barracks in Jamaica might be okay. Oh, build a workshop in Trinidad is probably better. Um, Trinidad, how's your workshop? Terrible! What? 0 0.001? Why? Oh, you have tons of devastation. Okay, so that's not actually that bad. It just looks terrible right now because um, we have a production goods produce modifier of minus sixty three percent. Surely, a workshop on a gems province with seven dip development is worth it, right? Also, we get a next to dip development out of it on gems. That must be good. It just must be the devastation that is screwing us over there. I'm going to build a workshop in Trinidad. It is decided. Also, suppress them rebels, please. I don't think there's much I can do against the devastation. I mean, there are two things I can do against devastation. Two that I know of. Well, except for waiting. Um, have a fort here, um, then waiting is a lot faster, or do development. Um, does it say here? No, there's not actually even a text here how you change devastation, but I think those are the two ways to do it. I don't want to do either. <laughs> so it turned out we just have to live with a little bit of devastation for a moment. All right, last Catholic province we can convert while we have the thing going, I think. Uh, oh, you're bored. You just scout North America or Middle America? Middle? Central? Central America. Or do we try and do the South America scout, which seems impossible. Might as well pick these two provinces up and then we go... Wait, can't do? That also wasteland? You have a conquistador, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, because that's water. Okay, that makes some sort of sense. But this doesn't seem to be water, right? Can you not enter that from Koyami? It's confusing. Oh no, you can, I just didn't click well. So we go there, we go there, we go over there, then we go around to here. 
and then maybe there, and then we see. Man, do I miss that button. <laughs> it was such a nice button. Come on, Devotion, I'm working on it. All right? Nice, pop prediction. St. Lucia and Escombre both done. Done in time for the extra mm, development. Very nice. I think we just keep going up the, the chain here, don't we? I would also state it and call it. Wait a day. Colonize. Colonize. Move. <clears throat> yeah, Barbados needs to be done as well, but all in good time. Uh, we have to pay for coring these places. Just ask him, Ray. Why don't I have to course? Hmm. Huh. Weird. I know I have loans. Shut up, game. I also don't know why I zoomed over here. <laughs> Hunger received a gift from Austria. What a surprise. Anyway, let's put a cut in here. Thank you folks so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe to the subscribe button, and of course, if you have anything else to say, then that comment section is right open for you. Thank you for watching. See you folks next time.